You have seen ChatGPT write essays, code apps, and even explain rocket science. But now, it can do this. ChatGPT just changed the game. Are you ready? Is it replacing Photoshop? We'll find out. But the fact is that it is a powerful tool for fast edits and concepts. For beginners, game changing. For pros, a huge time saver. So today, we are putting it to the test. Real prompts, real results, no Photoshop. Let's kick off with this image and start with a simple prompt. Restore this image. And we are immediately presented with the violation of content policies. Not sure what we did wrong, but okay, next image. This time, let's explain in more detail what needs to be fixed. It gives a face that looks slightly different, but honestly, it is impressive. Here is another example. Let's give it a simple prompt and see what it does. That's pretty decent. One more, and this time, let's see if it can also remove the sepia tint. Nice. Restorations like these would take quite a bit of effort, but with ChatGPT, one prompt. Not perfect, but definitely not bad. Here is another old photo, and let's check out if it can clean the scene. We'll prompt it to remove the persons on the street. Done. If we zoom in, we can see that it was not able to detect the text brothers on the building and change it to hoopers, but it's definitely not bad. Let's try to remove the other objects on the street. It did a quite convincing job. In the next image, let's ask it to remove the two persons. Again, it did a decent job in removing the persons. However, when we look closely, we can see some artifacts have been introduced. Like this ship looks quite funky and the color tone of the image is also different. Just as we can remove some checks from a photo, ChatGPT can also remove backgrounds and mostly it does a great job. But the problem is that it tends to modify the original image as we have seen in the object removal. Let's start simple and ask it to remove the background from this simple image. The background removal is excellent, but when we take a closer look, the car has been slightly modified. The reserve tire on the side of the car is gone for some reason. And if we try to remove the background from a portrait photo, it still changes the face and the hair, even though we prompted not to alter the face. But I have to say, the background removal is excellent and the hair looks amazing. The actual background removal feature is just, in a sense, superb. But take a look at the results when we ask to remove the background from this bicycle. At first glance, it looks like it did an amazing job. Until you realize it is not the same bike. And what is this? I'm pretty sure you will not be able to use this bicycle. By the way, you can also use Sora with the remix function to be more precise and as you can see, the face in this case is not altered that much. We could also use ChatGPT to fix images, as long as you play nice with the content policy. Bikini photos? Nope. Cats? Works like a charm, but it always changes something. You'll get a very similar image, but never exactly the same. So it kind of works. Now how about coloring images? Let's start with a challenging photo. There's a lot of happening in this image and actually ChatGPT did a great job in coloring the photo. It changed the people, even added an extra person to the room and a door handle. It's a bit like a game of find the differences. But that color info, super useful for late edits in Photoshop or Affinity. Let's try it with simple artwork and ask it to color the image. Again, the end result looks convincing. Still, you'll notice differences in the image itself. So again, a great start, but not the final product. This brings us to the best use case of ChatGPT Image Gen. This is where the real magic happens. I can provide this image and ask him to fill the visit card. And that looks pretty amazing. We can even go a step further and ask it to extend the image. ChatGPT even asks about our style preference. And I think this is the actual real power of ChatGPT. 
It has an understanding of the image and works together with you to get the result you want. This is definitely not something you would be able to do this quickly in Photoshop. Here is another example. First, I'll prompt something generic, like put a running woman in the screen. Not only does it generate the photo of a running woman, but also puts it perfectly in the phone screen. Probably, this is also very easy to do in Photoshop, but what if we want to have the same tulips to be shown in the phone screen? Nailed it. But also things like filling an empty meeting room with people is not much to ask. I have to admit, it is not perfect, and there is a lot of things wrong in this image, but for quick prototyping, this is excellent. I notice it works quite well with objects. We can add and remove objects quite easily. However, it sometimes takes things too literally, like this green tea. Not sure what kind of tea this is, but not the one I had in mind. Check also this modification. I was able to perfectly change the time in the exact same style. It hasn't touched the rest of the image, so depending on what it needs to do, it is very capable on replacing very specific parts of an image. As we have seen with the previous examples, using faces makes things complicating for ChatGPT. When I ask to remove objects from this photo, it also modifies the face. Trying to tweak faces is even more challenging for ChatGPT. When we ask to change the hair color, suddenly, we have a new sibling. The creative transformations also work very nice with line art. When I ask to replace the hospital from this image with a town hall, the result is pretty good. And you can keep asking for modifications. However, as you might have noticed, text sometimes gets distorted. We already did a simple screen replacement. Let's try a more complex screen replacement. I'll ask to replace the screen with a video editing software. Looks like it used Premiere. The actual screenshot itself is kind of well. But I do like how it really matched the composition with the reflection. When we provide our own screenshot, the result looks much better. Though, up close, the text still gets messy. You could however use this as a base layer and clean it in Photoshop or Affinity. The results are not flawless, but honestly, it's super impressive for fast ideas and concept previews. With just a prompt, you can remove objects, recolor artwork, or turn sketches into polished visuals. No tools, no plugins, just imagination. This can significantly enhance your creative workflow, especially with the ability to make quick interactive adjustments making it ideal for experimentation and it is actually fun to use with a little bit of creative pumping you can create stunning images some of which might be impossible to create otherwise you probably have seen examples of the 3d toy style action figures step-by-step -step visual recipes and more the real magic lies in ChatGPT's ability to understand natural language and grasp context. It's like having a visual artist deliver what you're imagining. Oh, and if you ever want to thank it, just ask what kind of card it wants. Spoiler, it's adorable. Can it replace Photoshop? Not yet. Sometimes it gets creative in unexpected ways. When that happens, you still need Photoshop to fix things up. But for quick ideas, drafts and fast fixes, it's an incredible creative tool. And if you don't have Photoshop, then all you need is a prompt and a little bit of imagination. Thanks again for tuning in and see you in the next video.